This community program would not be possible without the financial support of our corporate sponsors and community members. Tri-Cities Community Television would like to especially thank the cities of Port Moody, Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam for their belief and support of community television. If you wish to be part of our volunteer team, become a sponsor, or make a financial contribution to support community programming, please feel free to contact us at the following location. sports community and today we have one of the greatest swim clubs around the province, the Poco Marlins. The Poco Marlins for the last three years have finished as the number one point getting team per player, or per athlete I should say, at the BC Provincial Championship. Today we have the head coach, Mike Wiley. We also have top swimmers, Hannah and Natalia. Welcome, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Mike, let's get right into it. Why does someone join the club? Why do we join the Poco Marlins Swim Club? Well, I think a lot of people join the swim club at first when they're young um, because they just want something more. And a lot of them have started in, say, swimming lessons or something, and then they kind of get hooked quite easily. And then next thing you know, you're 18, 19, 20 years old and still swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, tell me, you know, when you got into swimming, what brought you into the sport? Um, I was definitely uh, kind of a late bloomer. I started off with swimming lessons, and then one of the, actually my swim instructors said to join some competitive swimming. And um, I came in, and I haven't sadly left. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now, Hannah, tell me, you know, you got to get up in the morning to swim in the afternoon. Swimmers put a lot of time in the pool, and it's a lot of back and forth, so there's a ton of discipline. What drives you? What, what, what's the enjoyment? What do you bring, what, can, what do you take from it from the training? Um, honestly, the relationships that you make and the friends you make, both with the coaches and your fellow swimmers, really help you when you get up in the morning. It's not necessarily just to get up and swim for me. It's kind of a club aspect, it's going to be a club. So you're saying like when you first arrive on site in the morning, there's this camaraderie that you see yeah. right in the morning, eh? Yeah, yeah, we're all friendly and there's the specific really? people. Yeah, like, like five I'm, in the morning, I'm, the morning, I'm really not like. a morning person, but everyone knows that, and so they actually make fun of me for it, so it's just kind of like, he makes you crack jokes, but he's just too loud. So, Mike, so you got the music going right when you arrive at the swim club in the morning? Oh, yeah. You have your, so, Mike, you as a coach, you can be on the side with your flip-flops and your Starbucks and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Well, how, but you guys have had so much success. When you really think of it, the last three years, if you look at points per athlete, you finished number one in the province yeah. in the club. Yeah. In a relatively smaller catchment area compared to all the other areas oh, around sure. the province. How do you do it? What do you, what's, what's coming out of here? Is it something in the water or what's, what's um, No, I, I think we have a lot of consistency within the club, within the uh, coaching staff, within the way we've structured the club and how we've decided to proceed with whether it be the progression technically from the little kids up to the top kids or whether it be from a physiological standpoint, myself and all the other coaches, we meet, we collaborate a lot mm -hmm. and we are constantly self-evaluating ourselves and then we look at avenues to get better. And that, I mean, that's how we work. So, Natalia, tell me, now you, when you're working, now you've said yourself, not only you're competing, but mm -hmm. you also give back and coaching. Mm -hmm. How do you, are you relaying that experience to the younger ones or what are you doing to make it fun for the next generation so that the next generation that Hannah and Natalia are swimmers, how do you do that? But, um, well, it's a lot of balance, I think. It's definitely very busy and hectic throughout the meet, especially when I'm coaching, then I gotta race, then I coach, and I race, and I think it's, it's the joy that I feel when I see my kids succeeding, especially the little ones, they're adorable. And I think I want to make sure that they stay in it just like I did, because I had those great coaches yeah. that I just like, wanted to be like them. Interesting. And I just want them to grow up and love it as much as I do. So Hannah, do you see it the same way? Is it really, if you're going to stick in swimming, is it really about the coach? Like, is it, is it absolutely the coach's job to, to, to draw them in? Is that, is that the key to this? Is that the key um, to success? It, honestly, it takes a toll. You, the main goal is kind of you want your kids to have fun. You mm -hmm. want them to enjoy what they're doing. You don't want them to come to practice and dread coming to practice. Mm -hmm. Because there's no point in doing something you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. right? So, but there's music course. going, there's kids yeah. people <laughs> high five in, exactly. everybody's loving it. It's just a great atmosphere with great people, great coaches. They just love it. That's okay. Now, you guys have a big meet. You know, the, that every happens every year. And I, I've driven by and it looks like a lot of fun. There's music going, there's people cheering. And yeah. is, is that what it's all about? Is it all, like, all this hard work and training comes down to meet day? Is that where the real fun starts? Like, hey, it's meet day. It, let's, let's go. Let's race. Let's, let's go after it. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But also at the same time, I think what we do is we try to make the daily the daily grind. That's the fun part too. And I know me as a kid when I was when I was swimming as an age group kid, I loved coming to practice because it was a time for me to work hard. But at the same time, I'd be with my friends. Yeah. And, and that's and yes, the meet time is great because you get to kind of show off your yeah. skills and everything that you've worked to improve. But at the same time, it's that that process that I think what we do is we really put an emphasis emphasis on the process. Really. And 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 that's what the culture that we've created is is through the process, I believe. And that's the success of the program. Why you guys continually turn Absolutely. out champions is because of that. Absolutely. Yeah, I think the best moments are just like before practice, pulling around the change rooms, yeah. and yeah. we're just kind of like hanging out together. It's not about really the race kit. I mean, it is about the race at the end of the day, but the best the best moments are before practice and after. So if I'm bringing my little kids to the club and I want to be part of the swim club, what what should they see? What what should I expect as a parent right when I walk in? I walk my little guys in and they're looking and they're going, wow, okay, this is going to be my first day with the swim club, with a real swim club, not just swimming lessons. This is I'm now part of the club. What what should I see? Um, we always like to start their first day with we want to play games. We want to get to know the kids. Mm -hmm. So a very more positive mm -hmm. atmosphere is for sure what you want to see. Kind of coaches getting to know their swimmers, not just coach their swimmers. You want them to have a relationship. No. I see the family atmosphere that you guys have. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I see, I see, I've had a, the privilege to meet other people in your club, and your board of directors as well, as well as your coaching staff. And I see that it's part of a family that you do. And I don't just see it as a functional in, out, play, mm -hmm. go. Is that what you guys are trying to do, or is that just organically happening, or is that by design? I, I think it's organic, to be honest with you. I mean, I, parts of it are, are, I guess, are planned, but really, we're just really fortunate, and I think once you have a couple of years of success, and then you get that family atmosphere, it it sort of perpetuates itself year after year, and, and the new people come in and they see how the the people, the parents, or the kids, or the uh, coaches are acting, and then it just sort of continues, and then the new people come in and replace the people that left, and it's just almost like a big conveyor belt, right? We call it the swing factory. I <laughs> joke. We we I joke with some of the assistant coaches, and you know it's like you know you. Certain kids move on to do whatever, or certain athletes move on, and then we just seem to be getting more and more to come up through the ranks. And it's just, it's the whole, like I said before, it's the whole, the whole process and the whole culture that we've created. And I, and I think it's uh, something special, really, and that's ultimately why we all come back and do it. I think you guys do an outstanding job. Hannah, just wrapping it up here, I'm kind of going to wrap up and meet you. What are your goals for this year and the season? Um, for sure, from a swimming point of view, mostly just try hard and have fun myself. Mm -hmm. And again, from a coach's point of view, you get all the new young swimmers come in and you just really want to make sure that they're having a good time, make sure that they're enjoying it. That's kind of the main goal, just having fun and enjoying yourself. Success, Ty? Um, I think from a coach's perspective, it's definitely, um, let's see how fast we can get the kids to go. Because yeah. they're a bit younger, they don't really understand the whole fast thing, but just loving them, just making sure they love it and want to go fast. And from a swimming point, it's just, Stay in it. Just keep getting up every morning, get to practice somehow, <laughs> and just kind of live it. Well, good stuff. You know, congratulations on all the successes. Keep up the great work and keep bringing the trophies home to Fort Wayne awesome. here. Thanks for being part of it and for, for being in this community. Thanks very much. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. This is Ryan Clark from the Port Coquitlam Sports Alliance here with the Poco Marlins. Enjoy it. Go to see thepocomarlins.com. We'll see you back here on Tri City TV. This community program would not be possible without the financial support of our corporate sponsors and community members. Tri-Cities Community Television would like to especially thank the cities of Port Moody, Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam for their belief and support of community television. If you wish to be part of our volunteer team, become a sponsor or make a financial contribution to support community programming, please feel free to contact us at the following locations.